We're trying to set up here and we're going to transplant a few Egyptian walking onions. First thing we're going to do is get a rake and we're going to level this down just a little bit through here. And maybe we can try to turn this, take this over just a little, maybe about right there. Not going to do many of these today, but the, the biggest ones and some of the bulbs that I've got pulled, we'll go ahead and, and uh, get a few of them pulled up and uh, planted. I like to kind of level this down when I start to plant something. It's just like it gives you kind of a fresh start on things. <coughs> it's been fairly cloudy today. And all at once I decided to come out here and do this. And <laughs> the inferno will come back out. We gotta have the inferno. We'll be wanting that inferno by <laughs> November, December, maybe January, and February. Who knows? Till the time comes. Who knows? Okay, that's good enough for right now. Then I'll take the hoe. I call it a hoe, more like a farrowing hoe. And uh, we'll just make us a little trough out through here. A little trough and try to stay right under the string. How about it? She's moist today. We've been getting a little rain. And that, compared to a lot of places in the country and the world, I suppose, the way they're talking, it's just like I say, it uh, goes from one extreme to the other. but they're all still bearable. All still bearable. Okay, that ought to be deep enough. Now I'm gonna go down here and see if I can't pull some of these walking onions up <coughs> that needs to come out of the ground and, and transplant it. Am I gonna pull them up? They need moved. And that's probably move. Yeah. We may move some of Stephanie's uh, strawberries in the process. Let me get these glasses laid some more. I love them because they sure help you see, especially the fine print. But there's some strawberries in there. Past, past their, <laughs> yeah, their past their expiration date, it looks to me like. Okay, let's see if we can get these, this conglomeration up here. Oh yeah, I think so. I think so. That's pretty good. That's why they needed to, to be moved. Transplanted, re-transplanted. Re and that's all I'm gonna do, is just re-transplant them. And uh, see there's one. I think that's all of them through here. 
And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take these and separate them. Take them and separate them. Because, uh, you know, there's no need to dig them up and then plant them back in a big, same big cluster. And that's not what I intend to do. Just take them apart, just sample. Uh, do the least amount of damage you can do to them and just pull them apart like that. <clears throat> and there's a bunch. Just pull them apart. It don't take long. <laughs> you can start out with a few and in a couple of years you've got a You've got plenty, 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 plenty. I tell you what, instead of laying them all down here, well, what I've got apart, no, I'm gonna lay them down there. And then I'm gonna select some of the biggest ones to go back. Because the biggest ones will be the ones that you wanna pop them sets off. The biggest ones is the ones that you wanna put back. Because they'll make stronger plants next year. They'll all be fine. Now here's one. It looks like a big, big plant. I'm not even going to take it apart. Yes, I am. I'm going to take... No, I ain't. I'm going to leave it together. There's two in there. You can make two out of that. But I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it right the way it is. Maybe. I might change my mind in five minutes. You never know. We'll take them off, them sets. Now these probably won't do nothing. See, now there's two there. They're small, we'll lay them over there. The bigger ones right here is what I'm gonna start with. There's a strawberry set that I pulled up. I mean, it ain't too complicated. Dig a little hole, put it in it, cover it right back up. It'll thank you, and it'll continue to grow. Stuff's pretty... <laughs> it's quite resilient. I broke that off. I don't know. That's not... No, that's compost. <laughs> Just an extra leaf that was on there. Okay, we've got them all loose here. These can go right back in this pile. Oh, they're all pretty good size. Every one of these are. Every one of them, practically. I'm not going to be too choosy about them, to tell you the truth. Because I'm going to plant all these if I can. Maybe not today, but most of them. And what we'll do with these is just go over here and lay them down. There's going to be a lot of crawling through here today. There's one. I'm gonna lay them about, I don't know. We'll start out about a 12 to 14 inches apart, maybe. Something like that. I'm gonna try to get these in the ground and get them covered up. as fast as we can. Try not to let them roots dry out at all. And uh, this will be, there's the one with two in it and I'm gonna split it. Why not? Now that one cluster, which was actually started out, we planted it I think it was last year. I think it was the... This is the second season on these right here. From a, from a seed, from, a, from one of those little sets. This is the second season, bearing season on them. And uh, they do multiply. They really do. Uh, 
They are notorious for multiplying. And that's good. That's, that's, that's exactly what we want. Instead of running and buying and looking for onion sets every year. Now these ain't gonna make those big onions like big candy onions, stuff like that. They're not gonna do that. Now these little old sets, right here's, what is it? You see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little, little clusters of those. I'm gonna lay these right here and we'll deal with them when we get done with this. We surely will. Let me turn this around a little bit. Okay, let's get with it. You know, I've been wanting to set a row of these in my I may regret it. <laughs> they may they may decide to take the whole garden, I don't know. They can't take no more than I allow them to have. Well, that's for sure. And when you get to the end, if you've got run out, it don't hurt a bit to do like I'm gonna do here. I'll just put, put two or three together and uh, just be a little cluster of them. That's what that will be. Yeah, we swivel, turn this around a little bit. That's good. That's good. Whew. You know, I thought it, it, it is cloudy out. But man, it ain't over this garden. It'll cloud up in a minute. It's cloudy, it looks rainy back through there. It'll it'll change in a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this with my hands. Let me sort of dig down a little deeper. We get all my roots down in there. Cover them up, punch them in. Get them roots down in the ground. Cover them up. I mean, this is... not at all difficult. I do want the roots down in there though. There's some more of them little sets. I'll snap them off. Mm -hmm. Now they say when you transplant these that they won't <coughs> they won't do nothing till next year. I don't know what they'll do. As I say, if you don't uh, get them in the ground and plant them, I can pretty well tell you what they'll do. There's nothing. Uh, If you don't plant them, they'll do exactly nothing. The ground's warm. <laughs> it is warm. You know, a lot of people call these winter onions. And uh, that sounds pretty good to me.
Maybe they'll grow some onions in the winter. Who knows? I know one thing. I'm not, I'm not designed to be up on my head crawling around like this. Sometimes that's what it takes, eh? Let's just dive in. That's a little tater. We don't want it in there. Because if we put it in there, it's liable to grow. A row of Egyptian walking onions. What better thing could you be doing today? A lot, I suppose. It's hard to walk, talk, and crawl at the same time. So, that's what I'm doing is planting onions. Tell you what, this is not a hard job at all. The only thing it requires is a little effort. But I understand some can't. And some can, <laughs> and some won't. Whew. Ah. I'm gonna move this little camera here. See if I can get another angle. I'll try to. I mean, I just dig that little day. I've done dug the hole, the trench. I rake a little dirt back down deeper in a hole. Let all the roots dangle down, put them right in the center, cover it back up. I mean, my goodness. Put them roots in there. Get them down in there. You don't want the roots sticking up on top of the ground. You want them all in there. All down in there. And you cover them up. <clears throat> There's two little critters or three. I'm gonna put them right together. And when they come up, there'll be a kind of a cluster of them. Just like the ones down there where we pulled these up and got them. And I'm telling you right here and right now <laughs> that this right here probably, I know it will, would produce more onions than we'd ever think about using probably. Get them in the ground. There's one that didn't want to stay, so we'll just move it right there. Uh, let's see. Where'd you go? There's one, two, three. And a little tater to boot. We'll let that tater there, there's no more of them things. We'll get them off of there. Some more little starts. <coughs> okay. 
I see a big ripe tomato over there. Almost there. Okay. That was uh, quite simple. Uh, we'll go right here now. And, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to dig these, a little trench here. And we're going to set these whole sets in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In a cluster. In a cluster right there. And uh, those are little bulbs, little ones. And what they'll do is uh, they'll come back. as uh, uh, is little onions, like little spring onions. Plant, we're going to plant them fairly thick. And I'm going to break that off. I don't want them big sticks on my, or stems. There's a big one I missed. Bigger. Let's put it that way. I'm just going to break them stems off. The long, woody ones. And uh, then, what I'm going to do is just lay them in there. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, put the big one in there at the very end and one right there. And then just cover them up. We're covering them up. You know, just cover them up. Wasn't that hard? Wasn't that complicated? Now, rake some dirt on them. And I'm always notorious for this. I always like to give a little light tamp through there. Now that's all they are to it. And we just transplanted two little clumps here, which started out not this spring, but last spring. Not, not this past spring, but the one before. Uh, 2001 is when we planted these. Actually, I think it was the fall of uh, 2020 is when I planted my first little ones from the bulbs. They shot up a few, and they weren't looking too swift over here. So what we done, was dug them up, moved them over here out of some weeds that was growing around. And that was done uh, in, in, the, in the fall of, uh, uh, we planted them in the fall of 2020. The spring of 2021, we moved them over here. And now uh, they've, uh, multiplied and done their thing here and they needed moved and relocated so we relocated them and uh, I'll get the camera here and see if we can't uh, walk down through here and give you a little view without making you drunk 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 so they go there, and uh, just keep in mind that every one of these now will uh, multiply and uh, have onions. Onion, onion, onions. And you'll see the difference when these get underway, and I don't know whether it'll be this fall or in the spring. 
But just remember, when we get to right here, uh, right by these strawberry patch, this little clump here was planted in clusters of the little sets or bublets. So I'm sure these will be the little green onions and be a bunch of them, like a, a whole bundle planted together. What them will do, them will grow next year. I'm gonna say that those, you might as well to fact in that they're gonna act like probably garlic, but we'll see. We will see how they act. That ought to do it.